Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you haven't been here, my name is Sophia and I am a first year teacher. I am a preschool teacher and last year I had the opportunity to be a long-term substitute in a second grade classroom as a math and social studies teacher. This is going to be my second video on kind of a classroom prep, gathering my things from last year, using my aunt and mom gathering um, things that they've donated to me because they're both teachers. Looking around, just collecting things until I'm able to get into my classroom, um, laminating, printing things out, going on teacher pay teacher, all the things. Okay, so this video is um, my second video in classroom prep. I am going through things, if you didn't see in the first video, I'm going through things from last year, kind of looking through my bins and anything that I used that I can use this year. Um, supplies, going through teacher by teacher and looking, um, you know, all the things until I can get into my classroom. My classroom theme, if you didn't see, is going to be camping, woodland creatures, um, bears, hedgehogs, squirrels, all the things. My aunt did camping in her kindergarten classroom one year. I'm waiting for her to get back from vacation so that we can go into her storage unit. I cannot wait to do that video. That video should be coming sometime next week when she gets back so excited for that one because she goes above and beyond so i'm very excited her and my mom both do um so i cannot wait to film that video um so yesterday i filmed a little bit i got some more things from dollar tree so that's going to be coming next in the video i found um you'll see um, what I want to show you is I have the 10 drawer uh, carts and so I am yesterday or last night I worked on making uh, labels for it and so I wanted to show you the labels that I made. I bought some things from teacher pay my aunt bought some things from teacher pay teacher and so I went on her account and I'm gonna show you some of the things that we bought and I'll link the accounts that we used or we bought it from so that you can see those ones. And I really like some of the stuff in there, but I kind of wanted to make my own um, labels just cause I get picky about what I want on those carts. And I haven't designed all of them. I kind of did make them Monday through Friday and then file grade and copy. Haven't decided what else I want to do yet, but those are the ones I have and what I want to show you guys. I made it on Canva. And then I also want to show you kind of my plan book that I have on ideas of what I would like to do in my classroom. And yeah, so I kind of want to show you some things I did on my computer so far. And then we'll see what else we can put into this video. So let's get started. So I'm pretty good with technology. I don't know. I just, it comes somewhat easily to me. Sometimes I can get very frustrated with measurements and stuff. So this took me a little while especially because I wasn't sure about the measurements. Now I'm at my dad's house and my computer is at my boyfriend's. So I haven't been able to print it out yet. I'm hoping to get to go there tomorrow. We have some construction going on. So hopefully I'll print it out, but my drawer carts are here and I'm not taking them over. So I have no idea if this is going to fit. I should just go up and measure it, but it's so hot in the attic. Um, so let's, let me show you the chore cards. All right, so here we have them. We have um, Monday, let's move that over so you can really see it. Okay, we have Monday, Tuesday with a little lantern. I tried to match the 
letters and kind of the background there I have, the shadow, um, to the picture. Wednesday was a little tree. Thursday, Friday. Okay, file as in, so file, I am keeping a, um, I am keeping a student binder for every kid. Um, and so the file is kind of going to be to um, put into their binders. And I may even make like student file and then have just like a file to put back into my like a filing bin to organize, like back into my August, September, October, November, December bins. Then we have grade copies, center one, center two, center three, center four. Obviously you guys can read. Um, and then I just kept some open ones to fill. And then I actually found, so these are my drawer labels. I really like them. I'm very excited. I made them, now, no idea if these are going to fit. I believe, oh, they are um, nine and a half by two and a half. I will let you guys know if that actually fits. I really don't know if they're going to, but I'll let you know if they fit. I also made circle labels. Okay. Um, there's nothing on them, but they're three inches by three inches. I honestly just love um, the pictures behind them, like the patterns. I am going to probably put a white square and then type things on them and just make them... Um, labels to put on stuff. I don't know. I just thought they were really cute patterns and just to have some circular labels. So I will be using those as well. So those are my two different kind of labels that I use. So these ones are not finished, but I am loving my drawer cart labels. I love them. I am very excited about them. I was pretty proud of myself. Nothing super fancy, but I am happy that I myself made them. So there they are. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to show you is I use um, Good Notes. I love them because, let me pull them up. Be I just find them easy to use, um, like text-wise. First off, they're adorable because you can like pick your little notebook um, outside cover of it and then the inside is super easy to use you get to pick your paper which I love and then text and adding pictures and making it look all pretty um it's kind of just my design book for my classroom so I pick my colors I describe what I want in there or it's I, I mean it's really just my design book so I kind of throw my all my ideas in there it's almost like organizing my Pinterest board for my classroom. I don't know if this is interesting to you or not, but I figured I would just throw it in there. Maybe some of you guys want a camping themed classroom. I don't know. Let's just look at it. Okay, here's the little cover of my book. I don't know. I just thought it was cute. Those little polka dots. Okay, so my first page is my camping theme colors, reds, browns, greens, blues, and then I just threw in that we're gonna stick with some flannels and um, like the checker boards and stuff, and we're gonna throw in lots of little bears. I figured since they're little, and you'll see why I put in lots of bears, and then the borders that you're gonna see that I bought, um, <clears throat> there's all kinds of little woodland creatures that I'm doing as well. Okay, so the greens that I'm going to stick with, we have a um, collection of pine trees. So I'm pretty sure my aunt has these. So you can get pine trees from um, thrift stores and place, it, place them around the classroom, large and smaller ones on tables. Um, I have done several of like these trees. So using like the, um, butcher paper or the bulletin board paper and then cutting out just like the little leaves and stuff. 
Um, and then I would like to somewhere in my classroom create a um, mural just showing the background of a campsite and then maybe having the kids color in um, different little campers maybe me even printing out some of them and coloring them in and then this little tents and then kind of the night sky background as well just throwing in all of these different greens Let's see, we have browns next. Okay, so I'm a thousand percent doing these. Don't feed the bears. Adorable. So I'm going to use this as dramatic play. Um, don't feed the bears little sign. And then I don't know if I, I'll use like this bin, but all of these little bears throwing that in there. Oh my God, I think it's so stinking cute. Okay. So then either uh, my boyfriend having him just like using little head to um, Home Depot or buying just a small tent off of Amazon, um, having this as dramatic play or in a reading corner and then little pillows, whether I sew them and stuff them or um, finding them just cheap somewhere. Um, pom pom bears going to the Dollar Tree and sorry, it's like a little foggy. Um, going to the Dollar Tree and buying, I don't know if they have brown or not. Um, grabbing brown ones and then cutting out the rest and gluing them and then just kind of hanging them from the ceiling with fishing line. Um, tent on the wall. So I was thinking about making this tent from fabric and then they actually have i don't know if you can see it or not they have their calendar time behind it which i thought was adorable because they'll i mean we'll do calendar and kind of circle time every day back there so it was nice to do um a little touch right there i saw, saw that was super cute Okay, so I just added one more thing real quick to brown additions. I have like tree stump seats, which they're expensive everywhere. So I have no idea if I'll actually get these. Um, that would be awesome though, if I could. And then red additions. Um, these are adorable. And I know I laminated those cupcakes, which I may just save for like future years. But I think I really want to do this. I'm going to wait and see if my aunt has a fabric that looks like this. But I'm going to do um, Fired Up About Birthdays. And then um, print out or make a chocolate bar with the months on it. And then make marshmallows and these sticks. And then have the kid's name and the date on it. I think that is adorable. And I love it. And then last thing, which I do plan on making today or tomorrow is my classroom management fireflies goal so every month um we will try to capture a certain amount of fireflies into our mason jar and they're just sorry it's like a little fuzzy um little pom-poms with googly eyes onto magnets and then at the end of the day or maybe throughout the day i haven't like finalized it how they earn the fireflies. We'll capture fireflies and then at the end of the month, they'll see, you know, what they can win. Okay, so now I am going to be headed to Joanne Fabrics. I decided that I'm going to make two large pillows. Like, I don't really know the measurements right now. I'm going to make two large pillows out of um, camping themed fabric. These are going to be pillows that I am going to kneel on during like circle time. One for me and one for my aide. I was going to make like um, a bunch of small pillows too to put kind of underneath that tent, but germ purposes during COVID, I don't know if I am going to make those um but i am going to for me so that i can sit down with them during circle time um and then maybe just even have it for like um against my seat if i have a rocking chair during circle time as well which i would love to get a rocking chair um 
So yeah, I'm gonna take you with me to Joanne Fabrics to get some fabric and anything else I can find. All right, here we go. fabrics I ended up finding three fabrics um one is adorable I'm so excited about that one it is going to be a pillow for my teacher chair I'm so excited to show you that one um second one I got is for um curtains to just hide like stuff behind a bookshelf or whatever that one's super cute third one I got is just for those pillows I was talking about to kind of kneel on they are buffalo print um plaid um and then found velcro dots Hell beep um they were on sale it was like 80 dots for eight dollars oh um the fireflies in a jar I let me hold this with my hand I was gonna wait to show you when I go home um I found like fuzzy ones they were also on sale for three dollars and 25 cents i believe they should 25 cents there's not enough in here though so i'm gonna go try to find some more i'm very excited wow. sorry okay so we are done with michael's i have to run home and grab some googly eyes because I got all of my little puff bows to make my fireflies to put in the little mason jar. I'm gonna grab my sewing machine and take it to my mom's to make my pillows because I got the stuffing to stuff the pillows. And so I'm gonna do those two things today, which I'm very excited to get done. And then I should have this video complete once I finish both of those and I will have it. I got so many puff balls. I picked up, they were in the clearance section, which was also exciting. So I got some little red ones to, um, I got some little red ones also for, um, like to possibly make, um, for like a future little craft, probably for Christmas, like little red noses you know the little guy what's his name with the red nose Rudolph Rudolph and so yeah him okay I should probably go home now I'm gonna get my sewing machine and use her hot glue gun cuz mine it breaks all right I'm not gonna film while driving because I think my head is like wonky right now. All right, see you when I get home. Okay, sorry. So for this part, you're gonna be down lower. I don't have anything right now to prop you up higher. Um, I'm gonna show you what I got and then I need to get started. Um, I brought everything inside. I, let's see here. Um, I am going to obviously get started with the pillows first. So let me show you my fabric. All right, I got the red like buffalo print for, and I'm gonna show you the size real quick. The kneeling pillows that I was talking about are going to be like this size to kneel down on for like circle time. It's going to be for my eight and I, and this is really soft. It's like a flannel and it is nice and thick. So that is my first pattern. And this is from Joanne Fabrics. My second pattern is the one that I am most excited about. This is my pillow for on my chair. 
it's little s'mores and marshmallows. Oh my god, I'm so freaking excited about it. Oh my god, it's so cute. I love it. Oh my god, I love it so much. Oh my god, I'm so excited. So that one's like a lot thinner. Um, so that one's just gonna be a small pillow for on my chair. The last fabric I got, I got a lot of. This is either going to be for um, bulletin board. It is just going to be for covering up like shelving. So it kind of goes well with the um, s'mores print, right? Some Velcro dots on sale, like I said. It was a pack of 80 for $8 and like some change. Then, Ooh, we got some, and I got the fancy sparkly ones um, that I will be gluing the eyeballs and magnets to. I am, I do apologize that you're down low for this. We got multicultural um, construction paper. This is for tree branches, the sticks for the um, bulletin boards for when the roasting marshmallows birthday board. That is what that is for. Stay there. And then I waltzed on back to the um, clearance section in Michaels, which I had no idea that this even existed at the Michaels um, out by my hometown. I found more sparkly pom-poms on sale for $3. And then I found some more for a dollar. And then I found another small package for a dollar. And then I found another small package for a dollar. And then as I was digging, I found some more little red ones like I was talking about in the car that I could do with Rudolph. These were all 50 cents. Oh, another one for a dollar. And then I found some little brown ones that we'll probably do for like woodland creature little noses. Um, something and those ones were a dollar. So very pleased with the amount of pom-pom balls that I found for the fireflies. So what I will be working on today are pillows and fireflies. So... Fingers crossed and stay tuned for the end result of both of those. Here we go. I did it. The first one is done. Okay, so it's not like, I don't know, I don't like my pillows like super full. It's like, it's not perfect actually I need to s finish this little seam right here but it's all done I finished it first pill is done now only two more to go all right I'll show you the finished products when they are all done I'm very proud of this one. Oh, looking beautiful so far Fabulous. Okay. <laughs> ah, I haven't sewn in forever. I finished all three pillows. I am happy with my final products. Um, this one actually was probably the hardest one. It ended up getting like caught at the bottom here. I have to fluff them out a little bit, but I do love them. They all turned out great. I am very happy with them. <sighs> Not done yet though. Six, 15. <sighs> I'm gonna put on some Netflix, I think, and move on to the fireflies. <laughs> but I'm happy though. All right, on to the next project.
these are actually turning out really cute. I'm not going to film me doing all of these and wait until the end. These are what they are turning out like. They just have a little um, magnet on the back to go on the board. And they're, I picked sparkly ones instead of just doing plain ones. They have little eyes and they'll go in um, a jar I make just out of um, cardstock and I'll put magnets on or maybe just tape it on the board. Um, but yeah, that's going to be the end of the video. Thanks for watching. I know this was a long one. Um, I might have one more video before I go ahead and go through the storage unit. So thanks for hanging out with me again. Please subscribe so that you don't miss um, one of my classroom setup videos or another prep video. Like this if you want to see more of these videos. Um, thank you for watching. Uh, see you again.